Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rolando. Hello, Yolanda. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. I'm happy that you are fine. What about you, Rolando? How are you tonight? Uh, excellent. Ya casi finalizando. I finished. <laughs> ah, okay. Finishing what? Your work? The midterm. Or... Oh, the midterm test. Oh, that's great. That's excellent. What about you, Yolanda? Have you already finished the midterm test? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. ¿Cómo nos fue? Yes, once, twelve. One hundred percent. Oh, one hundred percent. Okay. Y en el primer intento. That's great. Very good, Yolanda. You did that. Yeah, número yeah. intento. <laughs> oh, intento number 10 okay but do it right it's hard <laughs> is it difficult no, i was taking a lot of the meeting it's kind of difficult you are right Rolando. don't worry i know i know that this kind of difficult Hello, Jancy. No, a mí, a, a mí no me salían, pero porque el punto, les ponía punto, solo por el punto me salían sí. mal. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, we have to read the instructions, right? In some parts of the instruction, it says, right, you need a period or you don't need to write the period. So you must be careful when reading the instruction of the exercise and punctuation is really important, right? Por eso algunas veces no sale mal un apóstrofe, le ponemos una, un acento que es en español, ¿verdad? Y ahí no sale mal el ejercicio. We must be careful on that part. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Eh, Yancy, ¿cuánto se sacó en el midterm? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Eh... Ya terminé. <laughs> ah, ok. 10 en el primer intento. That's perfect. Perfect score. Yes. Excellent. En Jacqueline, ¿cómo le fue en el midterm test? Mm, me fue bien, solo quiero ver en, en una pregunta que es con negativo. Me había equivocado en el, en el orden, pero de ahí lo pude corregir. Ah, ok. Excellent. Very good. Hello, Giselle. Hello, Rosa Elba. Juan Francisco, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Is everything good? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, I'm happy that you are fine. Nice to see you tonight here with us. Hello, Juan. Good evening. So tonight we are going to have a review of the midterm test. Vamos a tener un repaso de los temas que estaban en el midterm. And we are going to see some exercises. Some exercises too. So let's start with tonight's classroom. Just give me a second. I'm going to share with you this. Oh, before to do that, I want you to listen the first exercises on the platform in the meter. ¿Cómo estaba el primer listening? Was it easy or difficult? Let's see, section number three, meter exam. So this is the meter test. ¿Tuvieron algún problema acá resolviendo este ejercicio? No. No, was it easy? Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I don't listen. I don't listen. Oh. You can listen the audio on the web page. Give me a second. Mm. 
let's try again. Here we go. Lisa and Peter are talking about. Can you listen now? Yes. Yes. Vacations. Yes. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Okay. Easy or difficult? So I have a couple of questions for you in this listening. So where, where did Lisa go? Where did Lisa go? She went to Australia. Oh, thank you, Yancy. That's the right answer. She went to Australia. Did she enjoy the trip? Did she enjoy the trip? No. No, she didn't. Why not? Mm. Ella pensaba ir a, a surfear, creo, algo así, pero estaba muy helado para hacer okay. todas las actividades que ella quería. Okay, the weather was bad for surfing. Okay, what sport did she want it to do? What sport did she want to do? ¿Qué deporte quería practicar? Surfing. surfing. I think surfing. Surfing. And at the end, did she surf? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Did she surf at the end? Logró surfear al final? No, she no, didn't. She didn't. No, she didn't. What did she do? Visit museum. She visited a lot of museums and she and she saw movies, right? She saw some movies. Where did Peter go? Where did Peter go? Peter decided Italy. 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 Okay, he went to Italy. And how was the weather there? It's how okay. Was... It's okay. Did he love the trip? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did he love the trip? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, excellent. So we are gonna practice this conversation. I'm going to share with you the presentation for tonight. Here we go. And these things. Uh, midterm exam, that is the topic for today. We are going to have a review of the topic that you uh, found in the midterm exam. So this is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, we will have a review of the three first sections of the course. And here is the first practice. So let's listen again the conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. And then we are going to practice this. This is the first part of the conversation between Peter and Lisa. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. 
I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Okay, how was the weather in Australia? How was the weather? The is weather that... is very cloudy. Okay, it was cloudy and cool. And what happened with the waves? The waves? The... Was really scary. Was really scary. Okay, so I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Rolando and let me see. I have Rolando and Jacqueline. Okay, can you please uh, start? Okay, Rolando. Uh, so, so, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Uh, did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves was really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited a lot of, of museums and saw some movies. But what? Okay, let's get the first. Ah, sí, sí, sí. But what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Thank okay. you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you, Jacqueline. Very good job. Now, just this work. Let me show you how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this word? It's rained two whole days. Two whole days. Whole days. Whole days. Thank you. Um, this other one, museums, museums, museums. Thank you. The rest of the conversation, that was excellent. Perfect job. Thank you so much. So I need and the last two volunteers to practice in this part. Who wants? Who wants to try? Juan, Juan and Juan Francisco and thank you, Yancy. Can you please start, Juan? So, Lisa, where did you go for vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves was really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was really cloudy and cool and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Juan and Jancy. You did a great job in this part. Just this word. How do you pronounce this? First. First. Thank you. You say first. It was my first time there. Thank you. Let's let's listen, listen the second part. Let's listen the second part of this conversation. It's it's listening is the one that was in the meter. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Oh, okay. 
Ahora que vemos el transcript, ¿estaba fácil o estaba difícil? Was it easy or difficult? Easy, easy. It's easy. Okay, easy. Very good. So, I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Oscar and, thank you, Oscar and, any other volunteer? Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you so much, Oscar and Yolanda. Yolanda's first. Yes. But what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Well, I have a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Oh, what did you do there? I took a walking trip and the Alps. How oh, was the weather? It, it was good and bad. The weather can change very quickly and the mountain. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking. But other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Okay, thank you so much, Yolanda and Oscar. Very good job. I need another two volunteers to practice in this part. And thank you, Rolando, and any other volunteer. Just one more. Listen, listen. Jacqueline. Okay. Ah, okay, Jacqueline. Thank you, okay. Rolando and Jacqueline. Okay. Yes, but I, but I what no, but what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what did you do there? I took a working trip in the Alps. How was the weather? It was good and bad. The weather can change very quickly, and the mountain. Some days were sunny and were perfect for, work, for working, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love deep trip. Okay, Thanks. excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, no mistake here. Thank you very much. That was perfect. A very, very good job. Thank you, Oscar, Yolanda, Rolando, Jacqueline, Juan, and Jens. And also, let's see. Oh, yes, you were the same. But what about you, Peter? How did you? In the next part, we are going to complete the following sentences. You have to use long, good, well, and often. Okay. Who wants to try in the first one? Long, good, well, or often. What is the right word to complete this? First is how often do you work out? Okay, the second one. Mm -hmm. Juan Francisco, do you have a question? Or do you have the answer? Uh, the answer, but it's okay, it's okay. Ah, okay, thank you. The second one? The second one. Oh, well. oh, how, how do you play? Que también juegas play. How good do you play tennis? No. How, no. how, how well. Well. Um, well? Okay, in the first one is how often. In the second one, how good or how well? How well. How well. How well. How well. I tengo mis dudas. Bueno. Okay, how well do you play tennis? And the next, how do you spend out the gym? How long? 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 And the last one? How good? How good? How good? How good? How good? Okay. Uh, we use well. When we use well, we need to use do. The auxiliary do. How well do you? And when we use good, we need to use the verb to be. How good are you at soccer? So in the first example, how often do you work out? Every day. I'm a real fitness freak. How well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Yancy, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo, 
¿Cómo entiendo about average? Um, how well do you play tennis? ¿Qué tan bueno eres jugando tenis? De promedio. Soy jugador promedio. About average. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Sería como medio bueno. About average. Ni bien ni mal. Ahí está entre Camagüe y Elote. ¿verdad? Digamos el promedio. Ni, peor, <risa> el prom ni, ni los mejores. Ni el peor ni el mejor. About average. Right? I need to volunteer to practice in these four small conversations. Who wants to participate? Rolando, thank you, Rolando. I really appreciate your participation. And also, Stephanie, can you help me please, Rolando and Stephanie? Y luego vamos a escuchar a Jancy. Okay. How often do you work out? I am really fitness freak. Uh, how well do you play tennis? About average, but I am getting better and better. How long do you spend at the gym? Your 30 minutes a, a day. Who was the time? How good are you at soccer? Okay, it's guess. It's not really my favorite sport. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have just a question. What's the meaning of the last phrase? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. It's like, okay, yo creo que no es realmente mi deporte favorito. Entonces, ¿cómo es él? Good or bad? Bad, bad. Okay, this person <laughs> is bad at that sport. Okay, then let's listen Jacqueline and Jancy. Jacqueline, do you want to participate or you have a question? I participate. Okay, Jancy and Jacqueline. Can you please start? Jancy, please. Okay. How often do you work out, Jacqueline? Every day I'm a real fitness freak. How well do you play tennis? Both average but I'm um, getting better and better. How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess. It's not really my favorite sport. Okay, thank you. Thank you. thank you so much, uh, Jacqueline and Jancy. Now for you, with your own information, how often do you work out? How often do you work out? With your own information. Con qué frecuencia entrena o se ejercita? How often do you work out? Do you remember the frequency advert? How often do you work out? Um, once a week. Oh, once a week. That's excellent. Any other answer? Sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes work out. Thank you. Any other answer? No more answer. Let's go with the next one. How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Any answer? How well do you play tennis, guys? Say sí, pretty well. Or oh, you don't play tennis? I don't play tennis. Ah, okay. Now, how good are you at soccer? Pretty good. Not so good. Or oh, about Not others? so good. Not so good. Not so good. Okay. Let's go with the next exercise. Thank you so much for your help in this one. So let's go with the next. In the next, we are going to use the correct past form of the verb in parentheses to complete the sentences. So who wants to try in the first one? 
Did you stay, you stay? home last night? Did you stay? Irregular or regular bear? Regular. 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 Then I need to ask Edith. No, oh. stay. No, irregular. Stay. 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 Ah, okay, that's perfect, very good. We are going to take out and we are going to write it correctly. Thank you, so stay. Because it is a question, right? And the past tense is in the auxiliary. Did you stay at home last night? No, I didn't. What did you? Do. 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 What did you do, do or did? Do. 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 do okay again it's a question what did you do in the next one i went i went i was, I was dancing thank you i went i, I went I dancing went. at the new club up uh on 8th street susie and i were there too oh really yes we we have have we had a great uh, time. Right. Where? 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 Where were you? This is where right. Where were you? Where, where were you? I. Was, I was. I was. was I, I was. I see. I was. I was in the laundromat all evening. How boring! Actually, no. I met my friend there. We spent. 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 Is it correct? Spend. No, no. No, why not? And S P A N T. Regular. Why not? Ah, because it is an irregular beer. Thank you so much. We spend the evening laughing and talking. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation, please. Thank you, Rolando. I, and I have a question. Tell me, Jacqueline, what is your question? Number five. Pronunciation, where? Where were you? Where were you? Where were? Eh, where ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Para there pronunciarlo. There isn't any different. They are homophones. Son palabras homophones. Suenan igual. Where were you? Es lo okay. mismo cuando usted dice cabello y cuando dice su de ella, hair. Hair and hair. Va a depender del contexto, en que las escuche o las utilice. Vaya, gracias. Ok. Uh, Rolando en Yolanda, please. Rolando en Yolanda, can you please start, please, Rolando? Ok. Tell me, Yolanda, did you stay home last night? I didn't. Uh, what did you do? I went dancing at the new club on A Street, Susie and Mike were there too. Oh, really? Yes, we had a great time. Where were you? I was in the laundromat uh, all evening. How boring. Actually, no, I met my friend there. We spent the evening, laughing and talking. Thank you, Yolanda. Okay, laughing, laughing and talking. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Ronaldo. I really appreciate your work in this uh, part of the class. Thank you for your participation. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. Uh, the last two volunteers. And we're going to go to the next exercise. The last two volunteers. Stephanie, Stephanie and... Lorena, thank you, Lorena and Stephanie. Lorena, can you please start? Did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. What did you do? I went dancing at the new club on England Street. Swiss Swiss and my brother too. Oh, really? Yes, we had a great time. Where were you? I was in the laundromat and uh, evening. How boring. Actually, no, I met my friends there. We spent 
the evening laughing and talking. Thank you, Stephanie and Lorena. Very good job. Uh, just these two words, uh, the team. Oh, really? Oh, really? And oh, the other one really? Landromat. Landromat. I was in the landromat all evening. And the last one, laughing, laughing. The rest of the conversation, that was excellent. Thank you. So let's go with the next exercise. Get ready to complete the next exercise. In this part, we are going to choose the correct answer. We are going to read and we are going to choose any one or some in the first one. What is the right answer? One. There is one. Yeah, there is, there's one. Excuse me. Excuse me, is there a gas station in here? Yes, there is. There's one, There's around, one the around the corner. Okay, you say one is the right answer. We are gonna circle here, one. The second one, how hotels are many. in this neighborhood? How many? many? How many? How many? Okay, let's circle this. And number three, there are a few. There, there are, are a few. A little, much, or a few. A few. Okay, it's a countable noun, so we need to use a few. Is there Is much? There are much, many, or one? Much. 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 There much. Expression. Okay, let's choose much. And no, there no, isn't. There isn't any. any. There isn't any. Is it? Very good. Thank you. So, excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There's one around the corner. How many hotels are there in this neighborhood? There are a few. Is there much public transportation near here? No, there isn't any. Thank you. So, Stephanie, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, in the third, there are a few. Se puede poner la A y la E en la misma oración. O sea, que vayan A y a few. Que terminen uh, en vocal las dos. Porque una termina en vocal y después a few comienza en vocal. And let's see how many a few there are. There are a few. Um, can you please repeat your question? I didn't understand very well. There are art termina en vocal, no? Entonces, mm -hmm. uh, a few comienza con a few de también con vocal. Entonces, no sé si se puede gramaticalmente una vocal con otra vocal unida. Uh, yes, we can use it. There isn't any problem there. There are a few. Hay unos pocos, ¿verdad? Lo que sucede yeah. es que a few es una frase, ¿verdad? Que significa unos pocos. Eh, Oscar? Uh, may I say something, teacher? Yes, please. I, I guess that the rules in Spanish is the different rule in English. Uh, yes, it is. El problema acá es que a few es como una frase, ¿verdad? No hay problema, si es, there are a few. La, es una frase que significa unos pocos. We can use it without any problem in this part. There are a few. So, no problem with that. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Do you have any question? No question, teacher. No question. Okay, perfect. Let's go with the next exercise. In the next exercise, we are going to... Oh my God, let me erase this. Well, we are going to order this word to make correct sentences. Who wants to try it in the first one? I, I often watch TV after dinner. After dinner. Oh, can you repeat your sentence, please? 
I often. After dinner. I often. Watch TV. Watch TV. After dinner. dinner. Okay, very easy, right? Mm. The next, it's a question. Dance, dance words too. Do you ever drink coffee? Is it do in you, way? Do you, mm -hmm. do you drink? Do you? Ever. Ever, ever drink. Ever. Ever do you drink. ever drink? Coffee. In the coffee. evening. Coffee. In, in the evening. In the evening. Evening. In the, in the evening. evening. Y signo de interrogación. No, the question mark. And the question mark. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Very good. Thank you. And the last one. Yes. Yes. Doesn't. Jeff. Doesn't. Doesn't. Exercise. Very, Very much. Very much. Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Okay, any volunteer to read these sentences? Thank you, Yolanda. Tell me, please. Uh, I often watch TV after dinner. Uh, number two, do you, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Number three, Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Thank you so much. Jancy, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Tell me. ¿Por qué este... Eh, se me ha olvidado la palabra. Pero ¿por qué aquí en este caso very much se puede escribir al final si anteriormente se explicaba que solo son tai es la excepción que se puede escribir al principio, en medio, o al final de la oración? Um, sometimes, eso era con los frequency adverbs. Era con los okay. adverbios de frecuencia. In this case, very much, no es adverbio de frecuencia. So we can use it at the end. So Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Sí, en este caso significa muchísimo. Pero yeah. también es un adverbio de, bueno, sigue siendo un adverbio, pero no es de frecuencia. Ah, pero yeah. eh, creo que en eso, en eso me, me dio un poco de qué hacer, un poco qué hacer. Muy bien. Uh, very much is an uh, frequency adverb. Then we can use it at the end of the sentence without any problem. And you are right. Just sometimes. Eh, puede moverse, but sometimes puede moverse, los demás no. Thank you for your question, Jensi. Let's go with the next exercise. Thank you. Okay, in this part of the class, we are going to speak. Hey, teacher, porque me salí mal esa. A uh, mí. Which one? Uh, la dos y la tres. De la anterior. Do you ever drink in the, in the evening? Yes. ¿Y pues mm. mal al final? Quizás le puso el punto. Cuando le pone el punto la va a poner mala. Sí, estaba viendo que con el punto no salía mala. ¿Es it right now, Rolando? ¿Es it eh, right? ¿Es it second. okay? ¿Es second? ¿Es second? And you, you say, do you ever drink in the coffee? The, in, do you ever drink in the evening? It's like, do you ever? Do you ever drink? Drink? In the coffee? evening? In the? Ah, coffee. Okay. No he dicho nada. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Let's go with it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Look at the list of activities that I have here for you. The first one is go to the dentist, buy clothes, buy shoes, 
go to the beach, eat pupusas, drink coffee, travel to another country, tell lies, tell the truth, eat ice cream. You are going to choose three, three of these. Choose three of these activities. Escoja tres de estas actividades. And you are going to tell me how often do you do these activities. You have to use a frequency adverbs to answer it. Then I'm going to randomly choose some of you to participate. You have a 30 seconds to choose three of these activities. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Rolando is ready. And what about the rest of the class? Are you ready? How often do you eat pupusas? <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> it's once a week. It's Saturday, Saturday night. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. It's boring. boring. <laughs> no, it's boring. It's boring. Okay, are you ready? I hope that you are ready. So, Jacqueline, you see yes. how often. Escoja uno de sus compañeros y hágale las tres preguntas. Can you ask the three questions to one of your classmates, please? Okay, Jancy. Jancy Astrid. How often go to the dentist? Uh, I I go I uh, once a year go okay. to the dentist. I go to the dentist once a year. Uh, yes, I okay. go to the dentist year once, once a year. Once a year. Thank you. The second question, please, Jacqueline. Second question is, how often do you tell the truth? How? how uh, ¿Con, try qué it? <laughs> ¿Con qué frecuencia dice la verdad? <laughs> Not always. <laughs> no, 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 tampoco. No está viendo el esposo. <laughs> try it every day. Okay. I try it every day. <laughs> Okay, I try to Asia. tell the Asia. truth every day. <laughs> <laughs> I try to tell the truth every day. Thank you. And the third question. Um, different person? Yes, you can choose a different person. Okay. Uh, Rolando, how often do you drink coffee? Rolando. Hello, I Orlando. drink every day with milk, uh, uh, milk with coffee. Okay. okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Yancy. Thank you, Rolando. Now, let's see. I'm going to choose some Oscar. Oscar, can you choose one of your classmates, please? Hello, Oscar. Can you listen to me? Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Uh, let's see, I'm going, I'm going to choose uh, Jamile Torres. Okay, can you please ask your three questions to Jamile, please? Let's see, Jamile, tell me, how do you often you travel to another country? Do, 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 do. She lost connection. Oh, yes. Hello, Jamilet. Can you listen to us? Jamilet? She's left. She's left. Okay, then ask your question to Henry. Okay, Henry. How often do you buy shoes? It's, it's you, Vera. How often do you buy shoes? So you say, I always buy shoes. I buy shoes once a month. And I... In English. English. In okay. English, Henry. I always, always, siempre. Okay. I always buy shoes. 
That works. Okay. Okay. Cada pago un par de zapatos. Nice. Very good. Okay. Yes. Okay. How often do you go to the dentist? In English, Henry. Okay. And I never. I never go never to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Okay. Uh, very good sentence. Thank you. And the last one? Thank you. Let's see. Tell me, how do you often eat pupusas? Uh, always. Um, siempre sería always. In English. Always uh, eat pupusas. Thank you. I always eat pupusas. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. And ask her the question, how often do you? How often do you? How often do often? you? How do often you? do you buy clothes? How often do you in the activity? Thank you so much. Okay, let's choose just the last couple of people here. Let me see. Juan Francisco and Lorena Patricia. Juan, you are going to ask the question. And Lorena, you are going to answer. Okay. Lorena, how often do you travel to another country? I twice a week travel to another country. Okay, I travel to another country twice a week. Uh, Can you say the sentence again? I traveled to another, to another country, country, country twice a week. Twice a week. Okay, dos veces por semana, va? That's great. Traiganos un llavero de los países que visitan. <laughs> eh, next question, Juan, please. Okay, Lena, how often do you tell lies? Mm. Very interesting question. How often do you <laughs> tell lies? Saint. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, about average tell lies. Uh, tell okay. lies about. In this case, uh, para decir que de vez en cuando, you can say uh, sometimes. I sometimes. I sometimes tell lies. Okay. Besides, I'm constant. <laughs> I sometimes tell lies. Every life. day. Every day. Okay. Well, las mentiras are useful or not? Are they useful? Are lies useful or not? What do you think? Son útiles o no son útiles las mentiras? Depends, teacher. Depends. Ah, it depends on the situation, right? So can you see? <laughs> yes, for surprise. Ah, okay. Imagine se está preparando una sorpresa. For kids. For kids. <laughs> for kids too, okay. So they are useful, right? Uh, no son correctas, pero sí son útiles. And the last question, please, Juan. Lorena, um, how often do you tell the truth? I usually tell the truth. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Any volunteer who wants to participate asking questions? Any volunteer? Just to finish this exercise. Nobody wants. Okay, if there isn't any volunteer, let's go with the next. So, it's speaking, what did you do last weekend? Can you answer this question? 
What did you do last weekend? Tell me at least three activities that you did last weekend. Any volunteer? Me. I went to the my grandma. I ate a chicken soup. Next, I went to the the graduation party for my friends. And this one. And that's it. Thank you so much. Very good. Eh, ¿Cómo estaba la sopa? Was it good? Delicious? Delicious, but the, my grandma put the, the floor in the, in the soap. Uh, it's a little bit for me. Ah, okay. Thank you. ¿Era gallina india? I don't know. Ah, okay. But it was delicious. Anyway. So, any other volunteer? What did you do last weekend? Excellent answer, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? What did you do last weekend? Um, I went to eat sopa de pata in Antigua. And in the night, I went dancing with my friends. Okay, excellent. It was a very good weekend for you. You had a lot of fun. Thank you, Jacqueline, for your answer. Uh, the last volunteer for the first question. What did you do last weekend? Who went? Who went? Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to choose someone. Volunteer. A la una, a las Me dos. teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. I was, I was cleaning and, and I was studying with my, with my son. Okay, excellent answer, thank you. I was cleaning my house, I was studying with my son. Thank you. What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? I get up early to study. I some cleaning and cook at lunch. Thank you so much for your answer. I get up early. I went my job. Okay, I went to work. Excellent. I went to my job. Any other answer? What did you do this morning? This morning I was working on some confidentiality at. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Any other answer? What did you do this morning? The last answer for question number two. I woke up at eight o'clock and next I learned in my class because I had a exam in the five o'clock. If this is my day today. Uh, it was a busy day for you, so you had an exam. So do you already know the score? In this, we can know because I have an exam for university. I prepare for for the, um, the questions and ex um, quiz. Ah, okay, you have a quiz. Quiz subject. Um, in this moment, I course the, um, um, I don't, I don't know in Espanol, in English, uh, Derecho Ambiental. Um, okay, in the environmental, uh, Environment law. law, uh -huh. and, law. Uh, economy, uh, is, is in our regional, as the Medio Oriente, no, how do you say Medio Oriente, Asia? Asia and Medio Oriente, let's see. It's Asia and, eh, who wants to help me, Medio Oriente? Medio Oriente, pero, ajá, uh -huh. o sea, the Africa countries and Chinese, Japan, another country. The 
the um, fight model is um, democracy, so soberanía, so how do you say soberanía? Oh, that is a good question. Let's see, Medio Oriente is Middle East, Middle oh. East and Asia, and say sovereignty, soberanía, sovereignty. Okay, sovereignty, democracy, this is my, ma matters, is it matter? Subjects. So, okay, so good. Those are my subjects. Yes. Oh, very interesting, very <laughs> interesting. Excellent. Thank you, Stephanie, for your answer. Thank you for sharing your subject with us. Uh, question number three, what did you do last night? What did you do last night? I watched watch TV. I watched TV. I was prepared to, to, English, to English class for the children. I'm okay. I prepared English class for my student or for the children. Thank you. The last answer in number three, what did you do last night? I did exercise. Thank you. I did exercise. Very good answer. Tell me. In my case, I made a lot of mistakes last night because I was talking with American people, right? As well, I decided to practice the class about the about the deep. As well, I, I say, I say, uh, what did you do the last weekend to American people? Then everyone look at each other and all, and, and one of them told me, hey, hey, Oscar, if you want to sound like us, you shouldn't say, what did you do? last weekend you say what do you, what do you do oh, oh really yeah. yeah because the american people sound like native right yes and in some cases they uh, they speak so fast and in this case they say what is what did you in, do last week in conclusion i felt ashamed <laughs> okay <laughs> you felt ashamed yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, right? But the next time that you speak with an American people, you are going to ask the question um, much better, right? Yeah. In conclusion, I made a lot of mistakes last night. Oh, but you learned about those mistakes. So don't worry. You don't lose. You earned. Okay, that's it. You earn experience. Thank you. And the last question, what did you do yesterday? Do you remember what did you do yesterday? Yes, I remember. I did the midterm exam. Okay, thank you. I did the midterm exam. I was. Henry, I was. I was happy yesterday. I was and happy. Yesterday. Yeah. Uh, dogs are passing out the cup at good grade. Okay. ¿Quién se ganó el pase para la copa? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> es que le, bueno, le dije, estuve feliz ayer porque pasé la auditoría y saqué buena nota. Ah, ok. Excelente. Yes, Congratulations. Happy. Congratulations. Yes. yes. Uh, what did you do yesterday? The last answer. Thank you, Henry. Thanks. The last, what did you do yesterday? Tell me. Share with your classmate. What did you do yesterday? I okay. played with my dog in the last, in the, in the night. In the morning, I I read the the subject for my exam today, and um, and eat uh, um, I guess 
Airbnb's um, tortilla. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Just to finish the class, I have this last question for you. In this part of the class, we are going to practice using the third to be in simple past. Uh, let's see number one. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid? What was your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon is Dragon Ball. Oh, what's Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball My favorite see. cartoon, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, that is a great cartoon. When My favorite cartoon is Rugrats, the Rugrats. The Rugrats, okay. Tommy and Angelica. Carlitos. Carlitos, Rectar, okay, cool. When was when a child, I favorite cartoon is when the um, Clifford. Clifford, el gran perro rojo. Yeah. Ah, okay. My favorite cartoon was Clifford. Thank you. Any other answer? What was My favorite, favorite cartoon? cartoon was the Flickstones. The Flickstones. Ah, okay. Pedro, Vilma, My... Pablo. <laughs> My favorite cartoon is Candy Candy. Candy Candy. My favorite cartoon is Heidi. Was Heidi. Heidi, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Candy era noviera, ¿verdad? Y Heidi uh, traviesa. Eh, mucho <laughs> y muere Anthony. Muere Anthony. <laughs> Solo llorando okay. pasaba Candy Teacher. Sí. <laughs> es verdad también. That is Trágico. True. That is true. Y la Annie era la tonta. Oh, si <laughs> sí, se acuerdan. Ok. Eh, second question. What was your favorite subject? What was your favorite subject when you were in high school? Matemática. Matemática. It was science. It was science. It was science. It was science. Yeah. Any other answer? I was social and matter. Uh, math and social studies. Thank you. Any other answer? What was your favorite subject? Favorite subject it was informatica at the university. Okay, information technology class. Very good. IT class. Uh, what about physical education? Did you like physical physical education? Yes, teacher. I like. Uh, okay, let's go with question number three. Who <laughs> was your favorite artist? Who was your favorite artist? My favorite artist is Harry Styles. Okay. But that is in present and in the past? Who it was. was. Oh, he was too. Okay. Who was your best friend at the school? Do you remember that? Who was your best friend at the school? My best friends, my best best friend is a cool, is my best friends today. Ah, okay. That's pretty good, right? Uh, any other answer? Who was your best friend at the school? I can see that you don't remember your friends at the school. Let's go with number five then. What was your favorite movie when you were a kid? My favorite movie, it was Top Gun. By the way, the last weekend I saw the second part at the cinema. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, ¿Y hace cuántos años salió la primera? Oh, Do you remember? The, 20 years, 20 years ago, I, I'm not sure. 20 years ago, imagine that. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, any other answer? What was your favorite movie? My favorite, my favorite movie uh, Rambo. Rambo. What's Rambo? Okay, Rambo. Correct. My Me favorite too. movie I was Barbie and the Cracker. Okay, Barbie. Any other answer? What was your my favorite, favorite movie? movie? Was Footloose. Okay, thank you. Uh, my favorite movie is was. Her. Die. Okay. 
Okay. Bonanza. I'm just kidding, Rolando. Cabal, Bonanza. También. Teacher. Yes. My, my favorite, my favorite movie, um, Black. My favorite movie, Black Men. Oh, Black Men. Okay, los que salían como extraterrestres. Yes. Men in Black. Yes. Men, Men in, in black. black. Men yes. in Black. It's Men hard black. to kill. Hard to kill. Hard to kill. Duro de matar. Yes. And the last, what was your favorite song? What was your favorite song? My, my favorite song was Tiempo de Vals. <laughs> okay, that is a great song. My favorite song, teacher, is Every Road Has a Storm of the Poison Group. Okay, thank you. My, favor, my favorite song and Redimido. Okay. Es yes, thank you. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Every world has its story. Cada rosa tiene su espina. It's a oh. good song, teacher. Okay, I'm going to listen after classes. Okay, guys, any other answer? The last answer. What was your favorite song? And we're going to finish the class with the last answer. Any volunteer? If no, we are going to be here until 11 o'clock. So tell me, the last answer, what was your favorite song when you were a kid? Um, my favorite song is, was Don't Cry. Don't Cry. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Juan. My favorite Juan. song was Floricienta. Ah, I remember about that, Floricienta. Yes. Ok, thank you Juan and Stephanie Acaban de salvar a sus compañeros We are going to stop the class here Thank you so much for your help during this uh, During this class Thank you for your participation, right? Uh, thank you also. Yes, tell me, Yancy Va a enviar la presentación and Yes, if you want I can share the presentation with you I'm going to share the presentation On the WhatsApp group Is it okay? Thank you, teacher Thank you, teacher Okay, if you don't have any other questions, please, you, please don't forget about the platform exercises. Uh, so work on that, please. You have to finish section number three and also the midterm. If you haven't done it yet, please do it, right? Do it. So have a good night. See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. See you. God bless you, everyone. Bye. See you, teacher. God bless you too, Oscar. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye.